Have you established a cloud center of excellence or CCOE? Now, some people don't like the term CCOE. Now, you can replace these acronyms. It could be a community of practice. It could be a, a center of enablement. It could be a hundred different types of names that you can give this particular framework. But as long as you have something that is driving your cloud project. Now, a CCOE is also responsible for a lot of deliverables. So the CCOE will potentially have a cloud policy document, a workload placement document. We'll talk about these if interested in a different video. Let me know in the comments below and I'll make some of these videos on how to create a cloud policy document or a workload placement document or other types of documents that a CCOE uh, should produce. But have we established a CCOE? It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Sometimes the CCOE uh, is started with, with one member and, you know, so, and it'll grow with time. You will definitely have representation from different groups within the organization, within the CCOE, but at least having that framework that is having the conversation around not just enabling cloud, but also improving cloud within the organization, advertising for cloud within the organization, evangelizing for cloud within the organization becomes crucial. And as a result, the establishment of a CCOE is a great key performance indicator. Thank you.